Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia, and my channel is called Winning with Wendy. It's all about winning with finances, food, and family. Sharia over at Gold Dig Into Happiness started this tag about two to three weeks ago, and I was recently tagged by Live Love Budget. I want to talk to you about our debt-free journey struggles. So I should tell you that I love, love, love both of their channels. So I'm going to put a link to their channels down below and you should go check them out in case you haven't seen them before. If you've seen them before, go check them out anyway. But give them some love. <laughs> so as usual, I'm creating a playlist of everybody who's participated in this tag. So you can just go watch all of the videos on my playlist. And uh, if you happen to be, I'm sorry, Mauricio's going to poke me with a stick. I can see him out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> and... <laughs> So if you happen to do this tag and you don't see yourself on the playlist, send me a quick note, email, post, whatever, and let me know and I will add you to the tag playlist. So I'm going to tag Jessica Ashley in this video. So go tag. You're it, Jessica. I love Jessica's perspective on life. She's so much fun. So I really hope you check out her channel and I'll link that down below too. So let's get into it. It's windy with Wendy today, so hopefully the audio on this is coming through. I do have uh, my audio, my windshield on my mic, so hopefully that'll fix some of the problems, but you're probably gonna see like rogue mic hairs blowing in front of the, the camera. So pardon that, but you know, it's a hazard of living in Virginia. Mauricio and Melina are here with me today, so if you see them acting silly in the background, just ignore them, that's what they do. Getting into debt is easy. Getting out of debt is downright painful. Not like ripping off a band-aid painful, but like plucking each individual nose hair out one at a time. Yep, that's the analogy I picked for this video. Thus explaining why my thumbnail is a nose. Plucking out your nose hairs is painful. It stings, it makes your eyes water, it makes your nose run. It feels like the stinging will never stop. Not that I've ever plucked a nose hair, ever, ever. Much like plucking your nose hair, getting out of debt stings and burns. And like I said before, sometimes it can make your eyes water. It's called crying, y'all. Really? There's nothing in this journey that is not a complete struggle. Budgeting, prioritizing, planning, organizing. It's not requiring me to make myself and my whole family into things that we're not. It's also requiring us to have a whole new perspective on our finances and mostly to learn how to be adults. And at 44, it's about time I became an adult. When I was thinking about this tag, I came up with three things that I'm really, really, really struggling with. And I mean really struggling with. There are things that are ingrained deep inside of me. They involve changing core parts of my personality. Because zero-based budgeting itself is actually a struggle, it doesn't actually touch my soul. Because really, deep down inside, I know that if I don't have the money to spend it, I can't really spend it. It's a really pretty simple concept, really. I could have mentioned the emergency fund that I'm terrified to touch. Or I could have mentioned the debt thermometer that stares at me and haunts me from the bed. But the tag goes deeper than just the physical things that I'm struggling with. It, it really, I really wanted to deal with things that I struggle with on a fundamental level. The first thing I'm really struggling with is my emotion and how my emotions relate to our spending. As I mentioned numerous times, I kind of stress spent. Now, I don't normally buy huge things that aren't in the budget. They're usually a few dollars here or there. And why this is a struggle is something that actually one of you guys pointed out to me. When I do stuff like that, it takes away from something else. And sometimes it can take away from my daughter. I recently mentioned that I impulsively bought a microphone for my iPhone. The reason I wanted to get rid of it is because my daughter's birthday is this month and 
I knew if I kept the microphone, that money would have to come out of her birthday presents. And of course, once I thought about it that way, the decision was easy. Of course I'm gonna choose my daughter first over some stupid microphone. So as long as I keep thinking that way, the struggle's, you know, a little bit easier. The next thing I'm really struggling with is saying no to extra giving. We do write giving into our budget, but that's not the kind of giving I'm talking about. I'm talking about the kind of like spontaneous giving that's usually done just to make a human being smile. You know, inviting somebody out for a cup of coffee or sending them a small little present when they're having a bad day. Something that just, you know, makes their day just a little bit brighter. A good example of this is when we went to Columbia. I really wanted to give my mother-in-law a chunk of cash to buy food and and stuff she needed after we left. No, I just wanted to make her life a little easier if only for a few days or maybe a week. And I'm not saying we didn't leave anything, we left stuff, but we didn't leave what we used to leave. And we did pay for things while we were there. We took them out to dinner on a couple of occasions, but on this last trip, we didn't really spend what we normally spend. And that was really hard, but I know deep down inside, if we just, you know, deal and stick to the budget that in the long run we'll be able to do so many more things for them. The third thing I'm really struggling with is not feeling like a failure when I screw up and letting the little mistakes overshadow whether I'm succeeding overall. When I filmed episode 26, I blew the budget. I, um, I'll i insert a card above in case you didn't get a chance to check that one out. You'll understand what I'm referencing here. Um, when I filmed that video, I was completely ashamed and embarrassed about everything I had done. And truthfully, I was completely mortified to report it to you, but I knew I kind of had to because the this channel is completely based on honesty. So, you know, I wanted to be truthful. I wanted to let you all know what was really going in our lives. And I honestly, I felt like a complete budgeting idiot. And even though we finished off the month well, I still feel like a failure because I couldn't completely stick to the budget 100%. So for the past few days, I've been stressing a lot, a lot, a lot. Trust me, I haven't been fun to be around. Um, about our, I've been stressing a lot about our finances and if we're actually meeting our goals. And since we're already off our original timeline, I'm really feeling like a failure on this program. And I don't want to spoil anything, but we're, we're rapidly approaching the six month mark. We're about a week and a half out from our six month mark. And so while on paper, it looks like we're succeeding, I really am having trouble focusing on anything but the small failures we've made. I can't really see the big successes we've made. I'm focusing on the small failure. Honestly, I'm not really sure how to get past focusing on the failure. So if you got any advice for me, please leave me a note down below because I could totally use your help on this because I really, I, I feel like an idiot. Back to my nose hair plucking analogy. Just like plucking out your nose hair, the pain's only in, only temporary, and in the case of Mauricio's nose, totally worth the struggle and drama. So, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't hear that one. So, we'll just keep plucking away. Well, I realize the analogy's strange. I, I think it gets a point the point across perfectly. So, next time you're looking in the mirror, putting on your makeup, or checking out your nose, maybe dabbing a little concealer on around the edges, check out your nose hair. Maybe there are some in there that need to be plucked. If they're there, go ahead, pluck away. And while you do, remember, the sting's fleeting, and in the end, it's worth the pain. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. I upload at least twice weekly, and lately it's been like four times weekly, which is adding a little bit to my stress level. And don't forget to trim your nose hair. And Mauricio says don't forget to trim your nose hairs, but I say pluck them. See ya!